How's it going guys? Welcome to my first video. You know what that means. Smash the squad or I'll smash you. I'm just kidding. Pretty sure I have to earn your subscribe because this is my first video after all. So I jumped into making this project with absolutely no experience and this is what I have so far. You could tap on separate fish. You can buy fish from the fish menu, but I need to add logic to these. But these are the actual temporary buttons, so you could buy fish. And oops, you could buy fish, you could sell them. They have a random the random chance of being male or female, but there's a lot of female for some reason. Whoa, I think this one's male. Yeah. And I have multiple tanks. And my target platform for this game is going to be Android, just because Android is $25 once, but iOS to post a game is $100 a year, which is way more expensive. And not only that, iOS is just a lot more strict with the posting, they just uh, ask a lot more questions, and I don't like that. I don't like it at all. <laughs> And I think I like this art style because it has no heavy outlines and it just looks more realistic that way. I think this art style is just a little bit more enjoyable, but I may rethink it in the future because I'm going to have to draw many, many hundreds of fish. So maybe I'm going to make the art style a little bit more simpler, but I'm not too sure because I really like it. Because I'm going to have to animate each and every fish's tail moving and whatnot. And I haven't got into animating, so I don't know how hard that is going to be. So I made this game about a month and a half ago. I jumped into this project knowing absolutely nothing about code. But I took some... I, I watched a lot of tutorials and I took some courses on Udemy. No, but seriously, U Udemy was something that... If I didn't use it, I'd probably not have learned so quickly. Anyways, I'm going to be showing what's been added to the game. So two days ago, I added this fish menu. You can lock each individual fish. This one's open. Which one? This one's open. You can lock it. He's still open. That was, that was pretty hard to do. I actually want to show you that code here's the script um i have a boolean that says is cell button locked and it's right here i basically say i made it that when you tap on the fish i say the clicked fish which is this game object is equal to fish so now you clicked the fish and i say if fish so get the component of the fish and I put a fish script on the fish and then I say is the cell button locked and then I say if it is false then unlock the fish because locked is false and then I said else if it is locked then just lock the fish and this is a pretty cool thing and if we go to this method right here it's right here and basically what it does is say get component fish uh, set the cell button lock to equal to false so if you press the lock button it'll unlock it otherwise up here if you press to lock it then it'll say locked is equal to true and I have just a bunch of these variables basically from my fish menu the inventory that pops up when you press on it I just set uh, a bunch of stuff active and inactive basically like currently locked is false because it unlocks it I just have a bunch of booleans that's basically how that works and then if we jump back in here real quick guys if there's anything in here that you saw in the script that you want a tutorial of or you want some info of for me to make a separate video for just let me know in the comment section I also added that you can sell separate fish from each other so you can sell the fish that the exact fish that you tapped on so sell every fish and when you spawn a new fish it remembers the inventory i put the fish menu script on the fish menu canvas and i basically said um since the script is on this game object so i say for each transform 
and I called it child in transform. So I get all the objects that is childed to the parent object. And I say child dot game object set active is equal to true. So and this is getting called from an on click event for the fish, which is let me open that up fish on click. It is being called right here on mouse down. I find the fish menu, which is a cached reference up here. I find the fish menu and I say dot open fish menu canvas. And that does just that. And that just worked like a charm. I did so many other things to try and figure it out, but this is the one simple, awesome way that made it all work because when you start the game the canvas needs to be off so it's just not on for no reason you need to tap on the fish first and you can't reference a disabled object and i couldn't really figure out how to do that because i know there is a way but i couldn't do that but i just what i did was i went to my fish menu canvas and made a parented object so this is the actual fish menu canvas right here but this object is still on so i could still reference it because it's enabled so that is just something that maybe that'll help you in the future for your coding but that is just an amazing thing to know and i also added some bubble particle effects because those are in real life and as albert einstein once said realistic games are the best yeah and I also added fish gender to the game, which is, I think is a really good touch because now you have to find a male and female to breed. This will make it harder to find fish to breed, which is just perfect because I don't think it should be easy to find fish to breed. And I also made it that you can breed fish together because you know what they say. Boy plus girl equals more boy and girl. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. Subscribe if you want to help out the channel and also leave some recommendations in the comment section to give me some recommendations of what I should be posting about or what I should be changing in my videos. And also I'm going to make some tutorials for coding. Uh, leave some comments in what kind of tutorials you would like to see. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.